18 years ago, when M-Pesa started. There was a lot of criticism. People laughed and pointed and said, this makes no sense. It's the same way when OpenAI started, and I referenced that because I know so much about them. And there were a scruffy team of a few people. DeepMind, which was Google's uh, own AI tool, had outmanned, outgunned, outshined them in ways that people looked at them and thought, what are you doing? They did Dota, which got them a little bit of money from Microsoft, but still everybody looks down on them until ChatGPT came out, and now the world is scrambling to try and catch up. It's not about how many people you throw at it, how much money you have. I mean, definitely go and ask DeepMind. They will tell you that they had everything at their, at their feet. It's how much dedication, focus, and incentive your small team of scruffy workers has. And Africa is the most scruffy, incentivized young people mm. you've ever seen. Practically, let's begin. From wherever we will start, let's begin. Because whether it is MTN's Momo, or Safaricom's M-Pesa, or Old Mutual, or all the companies that have created the change they have on the continent, they started from nothing. Dangote started from, he's the one who built the billions he has. All the folks who have done phenomenal things, Strive, who's opening up cassava in South Africa, they started from nothing, but they have built in their lifetimes empires because they understood that there was a need and they could service that need. Mm -hmm. There's no way in the world that there's a need like our continent. And there are no other people that understand it like we do and have the skills and the tools around us to be able to do and something And in agriculture and in health. In all these and sectors, in, in, in education multiple, and yes, so many. So when I hear only 3% of Kenya is covered by health insurance, I don't think, ah, oh, this is such a disappointment. I think, look at that 97% opportunity that somebody just needs to come and take over. And I can guarantee you this, and I promise you this, and I will even come back here 10 years later and tell you the truth. A lot of sectors will be tossed over their heads. They will be flipped over in their heads because younger generation of folks will come up and recognize that there's an opportunity for us to use AI to change how insurance is done in Kenya, or to change how banking is done in East Africa, or to change how people engage with content on the continent, like you are doing. And when those industries flip, when just one success story is created, the whole continent is set ablaze, because now nothing is set on stone. And you, we, we can have one entrepreneur in Kenya or yeah. anywhere else on the continent, yes. uh, building a billion dollar business one. as one individual one. using artificial intelligence I can tell you in order to build a globally game changer. There's product. a running bet, I believe it's in Y Combinator, of the one founder billion dollar company. Yeah. There's a running bet. When is it going to happen? Yeah. Currently, you're looking at companies like Cursa and Lovable that are 20 months in and billion-dollar companies already with annual recurring revenues excessive of $200 million. This company is not two years old. And it's getting faster and faster and faster mm -hmm. in its valuation and its use and uptake. So it's bound and the, to happen. And, and I also want to add to that argument, like, 